Yes. Glory to Him. Yes. You got a good singing in your voice? Praise God with it. Amen. You got a bad singing in your voice? Praise God with it. Praise Speak with it. If God gave you a voice, as Skip said, God gave me this voice, He's going to have to listen to it. <laughs> so you, you praise God what you got. Amen. Amen. So you have a joyful attitude? Yes. You're happy all the time? Praising God all the time? No matter what you're going through? I'm doing it, God. I'm going to keep that joyful attitude. That's the sign of maturity. If you if you got that in your life, that's one sign. Sign number two: an understanding mind. Romans eight twenty eight. And we know that all things work for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. And all things, God's working in your life. Amen. And the next one is First Peter one and seven. These have come. So that your faith, far to my far east trials to come. So that your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even uh, though refined by fire, may be proved genuine and may result in praise, glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. When you go through praise, when you go through tests and trials, praise should come from you. Amen. When you go through hardship, you should be praising God. Amen. Why? Because your faith is being tested. Amen. Do you trust God? Yes, I do. Do you have faith in God? Yes. All things work together. Yes. So and sometimes it's good stuff comes, bad stuff comes. Yeah. You give God the praise in the good stuff, yeah. give God praise in the bad stuff. Because one thing about it, the bad stuff will pass. Yes. Mm -hmm. I thank God right now we're going to have afflictions, we're going to have hardships, but they'll pass. Amen. But what's going God's trying to say, I'm building something. Tevis, I'm working in you. Amen. Erica, I'm working in you. Amen. I see things in you that you don't even know you have yourself, mm -hmm. but I want you to have that faith and trust in me no matter what you're going through. I want you to trust in thank me. You, Can you Jesus. trust me? Remember when Aladdin, do you trust me? And she would take his hand and she would they'd fly on the magic carpet. But do you trust me? You got to trust God. Amen. God holds his hand on like this. Mel, do you trust me? Yes, God. You don't know where I'm going or what I'm going to do, but do you trust me? Yes. And God will take you Amen. on a ride and you're just trusting him. Yes. And you see, I'm not even asking where he's going. I'm just trusting that he knows where he's going and I'm believing in him. Amen. I got it. I know that I'm going through some hard stuff. But God, that you're working in me and you're working for me. You're helping me to mature. We've mature, we're grown now because we've learned. I mean, you said, you, if you knew me back in the day, what happened? I've grown. If you knew me, Teresa, if you knew, I don't know, Teresa thinks I could always an angel. But if I would talk to her sisters, <laughs> I would always use this. The only thing I know I have on you when she was young and the Supremes were, were bad, they were really. Teresa would not let her sisters be Diana Ross. <laughs> Teresa had to always be Diana Ross. She had to always be up front. But why? Because she was the oldest, and they, they talked about that. And I like to see that. But the idea is that we grow. Everybody grows. We think where they're at now, but we don't know where they used to be. Amen. And so God's working on us. Amen. Thank God. So number two is an understanding mind. Do you understand why you're going through what you're going through? And do you know that God has a, a peace that passes all understanding? Yes. Even when you don't yes. understand, I have a peace about it. Mm -hmm. Number three, a surrendered will. Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer, no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Yeah. My life is no longer my own. Man. I have been crucified on the cross, identified with him. As he crept out on the cross, so did I. As he was buried, so was my old self. Amen. As he rose again, so did I. And I, he ascended upon high, that I, I rule and reign in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Amen. I sit with him on his throne. It's good to know I identify with Christ. I, I live, my, head, my citizenship is in heaven. I mean, even though you're on the earth, this is not where you're going to end up at. Amen. How many times you turn around and somebody passed away? So also passed away. One of these days, it'll be our turn. Mm -hmm. And when it's my turn, I know there will be sad on this side, but I'm going to be rejoicing. Amen. I just thank God for that. Amen. You know, I, many times I've been sad on my side. I see all the people, but I know they would not come back. Mm -hmm. Skip would not come back. Sandy would not come back. My mom would not come back. When you get in the presence of God, that's what the whole purpose is. Yes. Your citizenship is in heaven. Yes. So the presence in the sight of the Lord is the death of one of the saints. Thank you, Lord. But one of these days, we'll all be with him. Well, most of us will be with him. And I'm going to make sure that I am one of them. Amen. So every day I wake up, I say, thank you, Jesus. Yes. One more time, I say, hallelujah. I want, I want to be thankful for what yes. God's done in my life. And when I miss it, I repent. Thank I'm going to repent when my mom is living. 
Mothers have a way of getting on your nerves. And then not, not saying they're sorry. And so I, was, I, I got mouthy and I said stuff to her. And while I was going down the steps, the Holy Spirit said, go back and apologize. I hadn't even got to the last step. And what God was, I came back and I said, Mom, I'm sorry. She goes, I knew you'd be back. <laughs> she knew. And that's good. I mean, that's like, kid, don't come back. But she knew how I had talked to her. The Holy 